Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a replay by Rook1704 and his Haberovsk, the Russian tier 10 gunboat. Uh, quite unusual to see these being played these days, but I know Rook has got a soft spot for this uh, tier 10 Russian. And yeah, I've still got an issue with the uh, with the replays not displaying things properly, so every single replay you got to go through that palaver just to make things look correct pretty much uh, so Rook's getting into position <clears throat> to the east of uh, the Charlie Cap and he's going to see what he can see he's to get some eyes on some targets here and uh, we've got a Venezia Yamato and Ohio So I think he's going to make a full turn, which is probably wise because he probably wants to be um, pointing in the opposite direction, really, so he can make a an escape if he needs to do. So opening up on Yamato. see what we can do here. There's open water gunboating at this point which is uh, maybe a little questionable. Uh, there's something in some smoke over there, that's the Venezia and he's been hit fairly hard either from that Venezia or Moscow over there and he's lost half his health already. Um, probably unsurprising but he's returning fire with AP at the Venezia's broadside, which is nice. He's doing some decent damage there. Uh, the Amateur's on fire. And, uh, yeah, getting a little bit of dot damage there. So, switching targets to Ohio. Switching back to HE. And torpedoes away into the gap as well. So, you know, keeping the options open, switching targets on a regular basis is a real good policy in a gunboat. You know, the more the more targets you shoot, especially with HE, the more chances you've got of setting a fire on those ships. So So apart from the uh, the health situation the start of the game is really good he's managed to rack up a little bit of damage already and he's gunboat in the Mosfer I think the Mosfer is kind of distracted by other other things at the moment so gives him a, an opportunity to do a little bit more damage and then on the Venezia as well now for me the Venezia being in that position means only one thing he's sent some torpedoes and he has towards the Yamato and our ah, Yamato there is going to take one so Rook's doubling back and he's going to shoot the Venezia but we also know the Ohio is hiding behind the island as well so He's, um, he's going to just try and get into a position where he can shoot him for a little bit longer. He's slowing down here. I think I, I might have even reversed. <laughs> but I'm greedy, so I don't know. So back into the cap circle. Uh, Bravo caps a complete bust. For the friendly team. Minotaur in there and a Smolensk. I think they've got a Thunderer backing them up as well by the look of it. So Rook decides to take matters into his own hands and uh, do something about this because if they don't there's a good chance that the guys that are in the Bravo cap will transition over here and help uh, their team so He's going to go for a top send on the Yami. I mean, he's reversing as well. So this is a really, really nice little 
part of the game here. Now, it does a full speed smoke up. And the Venezia looks as though he's going to go down, which is good. And yeah, he's going to get some torpedoes into the Amato, that's just a matter of how many. And he manages to land four, which is good. It's a shame he didn't get another couple, I think he could have killed the Yamato there. So Rook's transitioning around to the other side to see what he can do about these battleships that are, are dug in uh, behind those islands. And he's going to take some shots on the Kremlin whilst he travels. Now, generally, I mean, this game's looking really good for the friendlies, so... I mean... There's something to be said for taking risks sometimes. And... Uh, I think, you know, it's worked out for Rook here. He's, he's done a really good job so far. Nearly 100k damage as well. 148 target hits so far. Two fires, four torpedo hits is good. So now I think he's, he's looking to do a sneaky top send on these guys. Um, so he's going to get close to the island. Which is uh, a classic setup really. I mean, you, you want to be close to the islands when you're doing this. If, you, if, you're in, <laughs> if you're not in some concealment, you're going to get absolutely right. Now, I can just see the Yamato's nose poking out there. But he's, he's actually going to send on the Ohio. So, and reversing, hard reversing back around the corner. So he doesn't actually get spotted. Did really well there to get those away. And we'll see what happens here. Tracking the torps onto the target. And yeah, this guy ain't going to survive, is he? <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, good stuff. So, um, do you think Rook's going to put his brave pants on? <laughs> I think he might do. Knowing uh, my friend here, he. <laughs> He definitely will. So, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's uh, shooting into the superstructure with HG. Uh, do you know what? It didn't take such a massive hit there. I mean, it was a fairly big hit from the Yami, but it wasn't, uh, wasn't devastating, was it? So, he's just going to keep up the fire in the superstructure. And uh, he's using his last smoke. Because. He wants another kill, of course. And don't we all love kills? Yeah, I don't think the Shamato's long for the world, do you? That's some uh, withering fire there from the Cabba. And that's Rook's second kill of the game. Very nice. Uh, the Kremlin showing perfect broadside, so... It's going to extend, speed up, and uh, he's going to try and get as much fire into this guy as he can. He's accelerating away, which gives him more time to get shots on target. And we see a thunderer in the distance. So of course, Rook's going to aim straight at him. And uh, it'll be undetected in seven seconds, as you should see on the screen there. So, <coughs> so yeah, that was an exciting little fight around the uh, the Charlie Cap. And he's seen a... Is that AFK Shimakazi? Yeah, it could be. Yeah, he's AFK. Well, that's free damage, thank you very much. Yeah, the cab is still a pretty effective gumbo, I think.
And the Thunderer goes down to a, a torpedo from the Shimakaze. I think uh, the friendly Shimmers had a really good game. And now it's just a matter of spamming HE into the Kremlin. Could even try some AP, I think, in the superstructure. Yeah, this guy's going down. And will Rook get the kill? He does. That's three kills. And now he just needs to uh, clear up the AFK Shimmer. I mean, to be fair, it must have been horrible for the enemy team to go into battle. And they had an AFK Shimmer all the time there, so yeah. So Rook got 178,000 damage and three kills there. Seven torpits, 332 uh, gun hits. Three kills, 2,447 base XP. And that's the hit list. 84k into the Yamato, 41 into the Ohio, 10 into the Kremlin, 15 into the Shimakaze, 11, nearly 12 into the Venezia. And as always guys, thank you ever so much for watching and I'll catch you soon. Alright, bye bye.